Let's begin with chapter number 5 from your political science book of grade 11 and the name of the chapter is Sovereignty. So first of all we need to understand what is the meaning of sovereignty. Sovereignty, this term itself means supreme power. Okay, of all the four essential elements of, st of a state, we can say like population, territory, government and sovereignty. These are the four elements which is needed for a country or you can say for a state. But what is the meaning of the sovereignty and sovereignty is the most important population territory government all these are also important whereas sovereignty is also one of the uh, distinctive element of state so sovereignty exclusively belongs to the state only no other institution enjoys or can enjoy sovereignty in the state sovereignty is often described as the soul of the state so the word sovereignty means supreme power the word sovereignty stands derived from a latin word which is a superanus which means paramount or supreme okay in a distinctive way we can just divide this term sovereignty into two aspects one is the internal sovereignty and the other is the external sovereignty so internal sovereignty means when a country is totally free to take its internal decisions that is the domestic decisions and that is getting applied all over the territory of the state upon its own people those are called as the internal sovereignty whereas the external sovereignty means the external decisions like how the relation international relations are going to be with that country what are the trade relations that country is going to deal so all these kind of international decisions which the country is taking without getting influenced by any other foreign country or any other foreign power so that is called the external sovereignty so in short we can say what's the meaning of sovereignty a country which is free to take its internal and external decisions and it is not getting influenced or pressurized by any any other foreign country that is called a sovereign state so India is a sovereign state after independence we can say that here few definitions are given in your book I would say you can go for Lasky Lasky is one of the most renowned person and widely accepted so you can go for it next we are having what is the nature what are the basic nature or you can say characteristics of sovereignty first is originality so sovereignty is the original power of the state it is neither delegated delegated means somebody is not giving the state some power which you know for a time being no the state is having its original power that is called the sovereign power and it is neither delegated by any association to the state nor the state derives it from any other sources it is the original power of the state and it is self-created self-made and self-possessed so next number two is um, prominency so sovereignty is a permanent element of state so long as state exists sovereignty also exists and so long as sovereignty exists the state also exists once the sovereignty of a state is gone that means that uh, you can say that state will not exist that will come under some other foreign country number three is absoluteness all persons and places within the territory of the state are under the full and supreme power that is sovereignty of the state it is the absolute and unlimited power of the state it is also or you can say it is always free from all type of internal and external limitations next is exclusiveness sovereignty is an exclusive and supreme power of the state it exclusively belongs only to the state state can exercise sovereignty in every state there is one sovereignty uh, or you can say only one sovereign power is exercising the entire power of the state next is comprehensiveness sovereignty is of a state is all inclusive of all comprehensive supreme power of the state state exercises sovereignty over all people all their groups are and over all parts of its territory and there is no area of authority which is or can be outside the control of the state there is no person or group who can avoid the sovereignty power of the state
नेक्स्ट इज इन एलियनेबल इन एलियनेबल मीन्स विच इज नॉट सेपरेबल ओके स्टेट कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड फ्राम इट्स सॉवरिनटी और यू कैन से द स्टेट एंड द सॉवरन पार कैन नॉट गेट सेपरेटेड फ्राम ईच अदर इट कैन नॉट लीव द सॉवरिनटी आइदर इन फुल और इन पार्ट नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग imperceptibility what is the meaning of that sovereignty permanently belongs to the state even when the state does not exercise its sovereignty continues <coughs> to live so sovereignty cannot be seen and yet it continue continues to live and we can find the prominence dominance of you can say the uh, sovereignty but we cannot see it no no authority can show what is a, uh, which part is sovereign but as the country is free from the external um, interference and they can take their own decision we can say that the country is sovereign hopefully you understood till this much thank you